In the brand new lawsuit, attorneys from Richard's Disposal claims the city council's recent decision not to award the company a six-year contract was, quote, arbitrary and capricious. Richard's now wants a Hines County Circuit judge to overturn the council's 4-3 vote and give the garbage company the contract. We are the council. We are elected uh, to be the legislative branch of the government. And, you know, I, you know, I doubt highly that any judge is going to say, you know what, let me take the authority away from the city council. Richards argues it submitted the most qualified proposal based on factors in the October 2021 RFP and that the council violated statutory authority by attempting to usurp the mayor and force the mayor to select its preferred vendor rather than the vendor chosen by the mayor. We are governed by laws. And in this process, the mayor needs to follow the law. When a vendor is voted down, then move to the next two vendors and let's get a better deal. And that's, that's all, us all we're saying. This is not a dictatorship. In another special meeting Wednesday, the city council could vote to approve a temporary trash collection contract with Richards while the company is suing the city. I think it's bad business to do a contract with anybody that at the same time is suing the city of Jackson. City Council President Ashby Foote says he may be open to supporting a short-term deal with Richards, even while the company is dragging the city into court. Foote says what's most important is to resume regular trash pickup and to avoid hefty fines from the state. Reporting from City Hall, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.